Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and I want to welcome you guys to episode two of my Bee Junk Journal series that I'm making. And I'm showing you guys how I make my little bee junk journal, and this is the front booklet that we're working on. So we're going to do the inside of it today. And like I said, this is episode two, and I will have this down in my playlist. So go check out my playlist, and it's a uh, B Junk Journal series. So go check that out, and you guys can get caught up, and we can do this together. Okay, if you guys could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. Okay, we did the front here. Got it all. We did some slow stitching on it. Added our little bee dangle, did the little flower. So yeah, go check out episode one. And then today we are gonna work on the inside. Okay. So what I did is I got some onion skin and avocado skin and I dyed the material I wanna put on the inside. So I got that dyed. And this one's, I wanna say, this one's onion skin. And this is what the material looked like before. So I just, I just thought that was way too bright. And I kind of wanted to go for like a grungier little feel. So I went ahead and dyed it. And I will post the video down below how I do, how I dye my papers and fabrics. Okay. So now what we're going to do is just take this. And this is what we're going for here. This is the little journal to the other. This is the one that we're looking at, my original. And it's got the papers in it. It's got a little, we'll do a little pocket today. Add the little bee journal, put some papers in, and we're adding the fabric and some beads, just little danglers, or maybe just one bead. I don't know yet. We'll see when we get there. So now I'm just gonna start ripping here. So I'm just taking it and doing little snips, snips and rips. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and learning how to make this little bee junk journal getting out all your fabrics and your papers but it's a fun little project here so i'm keeping all these these are great for clusters all these little threads that come off the fabric and i sound like a broken record but i, lo I love to save them they're great we're gonna incorporate that today too because um, we're gonna do this cute little tag here that goes in it and i'll show you guys how to do this and this is the Tim Holtz uh, ideology, and I'll show you guys that. Okay. So there we go. So I'm just doing some ripping and some shredding and some getting it prepped. So I will do this in a time lapse, but all you got to do is just take your material to about mm, an inch and then just do a snip and a rip and then just pull and keep your threads. Okay, as you can see, I did some like an inch wide and then I did like two inches and then an inch and then two inches, just like that. Just do little uh, different sizes if you want, but you can rip, rip them however you want. And then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take them and glue them down. So what I'm using is Fabrifix glue and it bonds to fabric, lace, leather, trims, and more. So it's really good for all kinds of stuff. And I got it in a Sugar Bell piping container. This is what it looks like. And I just got it off Amazon. So it's a sweet Sugar Bell and it's for icing cakes and stuff, but it's got a great tip on it. And it's a good size bottle here. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and get glue. I'm just gonna do little sections here so it doesn't dry out on me. But let's just do some glue and and I'm just gonna go like that. I'm just doing it on the paper bag part here. And then just do a little bit because we're gonna overlap. So put a little bit on the fabric like that 
then just kind of stagger it so And then we'll go around and trim it how we want it. But for now, I'm just putting it on the paper bag here. I'm just making sure it's all glued down. fabric here because we're going to overlap it. Let's pick the next one. So we're just going to continue and just keep overlapping. Until you can't see the paper bag anymore. A little bit here. I want to make sure I get that last edge. <coughs> okay. So there we go. So just that's all you do and just go ahead and line it up and I will show you the next part. All right, so I got it all glued. I did a little corner. There was a little corner showing, so I went ahead and glued a little piece here. Okay, and then this is this side. And as you can see, we want some of it sticking out. Or, you know, that's how I did it. It's just a little bit sticking out. So you can look at it, judge it, however you want to do it. I don't mind any of this sticking out. I mean, that's just a little much here, so. We can just do, you can even do like an angle. Just kind of angle it if you want to. Just give it a little more character and then just do a little pull. And that'll give it some fray. <clears throat> Here we go. Do a little bit of that. And then you could go around touching up some glue spots that you missed. Just go around and just see how you want it to look. Maybe that a little bit shorter. So just sculpturing how you want it to be. Doing a little fraying. Seeing, shutting it, seeing how it's going to look and how you want it. And I don't mind it looking like that. I think it looks great. So there we go. <clears throat> okay, the next thing I want to do, since we got this far, and remember we're going to have papers in here and stuff, but I want to do a fun little pocket in the front, and I thought this blue was just really cool. So I'm trying to stick with the blue, yellow, and maybe some, you know, some green throughout, just little bits of green and stuff, 
little greens. But yeah, so those are the colors I want to try to stick with. Okay, and I'm going to do a cute little pocket here. And I don't mind it sticking out. Just find the fold. sides, across the bottom, and then the other side, but make sure you have some sticking out, so if you have any sticking out, just put the glue a little closer there, like that, and there we go. Shut your journal. Okay, I don't want to glue it all the way down here. But if it's in the journal, if it's in the fold a little bit, that's fine. So let's see. Make sure we didn't glue anything down that's not supposed to be glued. journal card or tag in here. So yeah, so that's a fun thing you could do with lace is just go ahead and use it as a pocket. Okay. We'll let that dry. All right. So we're cruising along here. <clears throat> now the next one Next part of this I want to do is, let's go ahead and add our papers. So I just went ahead and just did some cute little papers. And even if they go, I like the look where they're sticking out so you can have them stick out around the edges and stuff. Uh, it just gives it a cool little, and I'm, I'm thinking like boho kind of style is what I'm thinking, unless you guys have another name for it, but, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear any different kind of styles that you it's called because <laughs> for some reason it just reminds me of like a boho kind of style. Just all the, you know, the fabrics and the threads and the just little danglers and stuff. But I could be wrong. So <clears throat> now I just did craft paper, avocado dyed paper, Handmade paper that I made, some botanical papers with some of my rose petals and stuff uh, throughout, and just some flower petals and different things. Some um, sewing pattern paper, more avocado dyed coloring papers here, just for interest. And yeah. So, what we're going to do is just go ahead, and this is how it's going to go. And I love that crinkly sound just with the paper and the, the paper bag and all the papers. It's so nice. Okay, so let's open her up right here. And then you could take your little paper clips, just help to steady it where you want it. I need to get those really big paperclip ones. I'm gonna have to order some of those because those are cool. Because sometimes you have the different, you know, links and different size papers and it's kind of nice. But this works for this because it's so tiny. Okay. And we need our poker. Some poker, a needle, and some binding. Kind of crochet cord or whatever. This is just like a, um, I've had it forever. I mean, it's like 10 cents at the Goodwill. So it's just, uh, it says cord crochet three. So number three, whatever that is. And it works great. 
So one, two, three size your journal. Do a little longer because we'll do some dangle. And I'll have to go find a cool bead or something to put in here. Okay, and we just kind of make sure it's all lined up. I'm just gonna go ahead and poke where I want it. So let's see, I'm gonna go here. So we're gonna three, three hole pamphlet stitch. So I'm just poking it through just like that. So one, I'm just eyeballing it. Two, and we can just catch this paper down here and do three like that. So just like that. Oh, you could probably say it better that way. Just one, two, three. Easy as one, two, three. We got our needle. And then we can just line this up where we want it. In our booklet. Shut it, look at it, see if that's where you want it. And this is when the big paper clips would come in handy, but you could paper clip it to your journal like that. Just so you know it's not gonna move like that. And then we're gonna do it again. So we're just going through to the spine. So it's one and then through the spine, two, Start in the middle, pull it through, leave a tail. I grab it with my thumb, just a pretty long, you know, long enough tail. Then pop it through the top, like that. And then through the bottom. You still got your tail. And then we're gonna go through the middle. So meet up through the middle, okay? And you just look at the back, make sure it's lined up where you want it. Pull your string, even them out. Okay, and then make sure each thread or cord or rope or whatever you're using is underneath and the thread is in the middle and you have one under on each side with the middle on top, okay? And, and also, before you tie it, this is always a good thing to do is to look through, make sure you have everything upwards, not upside down the way you want it, like this, you know, facing up and go through. Just make sure I've done that more than once. And then you have to undo it all and that's no fun. Okay, so pull it snug, not too tight to rip it, but taut. So one, two, and I always do three for good measure. Then I'm gonna leave it long in the middle and I'm going to go find a fun little bead we can put in the middle. Okay, so I found this cute little glass bead and it's blue, so it matches. And I found that in my stash. So let's use that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop both of them through both of the cords here. And the tricky is I had to find the bead with a big enough hole. It's like, geez. Okay, and I wanna let it dangle below. And what I like to do, is if I have a big enough hole here, is pop it through again. Let's see if this will work. Just to secure it. I'm gonna get it through one more time. And, well, if 
that's the case. I have it through once like this. So it's secure. I want it to where I want to dangle it. Oops, do it the right way. <clears throat> so I want to dangle it there. And we know it's secure. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Go for three. I always do. There we go. Now it's not going nowhere. Okay. Little dab here. Just a little glue dab. Just a little bit. Then when that dries, you know it's not going nowhere. So there we go. So we got a fun little glass bead hanging. I think that's cute. Okay. And our next thing I want to do, the last thing for this episode is let's make our little fun little tag that goes in here. I think that worked out good. Okay. Oh, and then we got to do our little bee journal and then a little die cut. All right. So now let's go ahead and do that. And I'll show you where I got that from. It's just uh, Tim Holtz. Make sure you guys can see it. And it's the ideology, just scrap paper, little booklet here. And I just got it off Amazon. Just go type that in and you'll find it. So it's got some fun papers throughout. And then I flip all the way to the back here. And yeah, so it's just got really cool. So it's got the bigger and then it goes into the big four squares and then the squares. And then I want these little rectangles. And I'm gonna go with the little bumblebee. It's got bumblebees and bugs and all that on it, and I figured that would fit the best here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out. And it's just really good quality scrap paper. And I'm really enjoying it. I mean, there's just so much throughout that you can see. And yeah, so that's fun. So go check that out, and I got it on Amazon. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is, and then that's just the back of it. Um, let's do the 45 cents. So I'm just kind of line it up because I know this size will fit in the pocket. So I'm just lining it up like that. Doing a snip. Whoop, don't cut my little threads. And then I know I want a little snip here. I'm just trying not to cut my threads here. Okay. So you could do that, snip it, move it to the other side here. Whoops. Like this. Then you know you're getting the same cut on each side. There we go. You got a tag. And then I always make the <clears throat> make it too pointy for some weird reason, so I always cut the top a little bit. And there we go. And then save all this. This is great for all kinds of stuff. I mean, you could do clusters with them and little side things for your papers. Like you could just glue it down the side if you wanted or do a little pocket with it. So keep those. Okay, so we got that far. And let's go ahead and walnut stain oxide. <clears throat> That's what I've been using throughout. Okay. Just a little bit of inking. And always make sure to do the back too, because you don't want to miss the back. Okay. And 
the next thing is, let's go ahead and find our die cut. And I just have my Cricut machine and uh, I just did, designed a little, well, it's already in my Cricut, like as a design, just a little bee. So I just cut out a bunch of those, just little cute little bees to go with this. <clears throat> okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up a little. Give a little grunge. Okay. So there we go. And I saved. I'm right here. I saved some yellow from my uh, fabric, my yellow fabric. And you just kind of ball it up however you want it. You just kind of play around with it. Like that. Maybe stick it down. Okay, and then I just take my stapler. Just do a little staple. Like that. And then you can just hide your staple with your little bumblebee or whatever you're going to put on the front. So I'm just tacking it down. A bumblebee little tag. Pretty easy. It goes in our journal, our little mini journal here. Kind of just take there where we glued. You didn't want glue to be. But I think that works. You got a little bit sticking up. To the top which is cute okay so we got that done and then the last thing I wanted to do here is I got this Tim Holtz just words but you can just stamp or you can write it out you can uh, do anything you want or leave it blank and you don't have to but this has the fun just words throughout we got the white and then the black I went through <clears throat> and I found the word bin because I don't have the word B. So I just pop that off of there. Whoops, I didn't mean to rip it. Jeez, I'll have to glue it. So pop it off of there. And then I just cut off the N like this. And we got the word B. I'm just going to snip it, make it even. A little inking. It's still sticky, but I'll add a little, I accidentally rip some of the sticky off. Okay. And then I'm just going to stick it right here. The word B. And let's not, I put it up here so I'd see it, but maybe I shouldn't have done that because it's taken off the stick. Ah. Okay, that's not too bad. And let's ink it. Just give a little grunge. Let's do a little, just a smidgel of glue. And then the word journal. So it's our cute little bee journal. And you gotta have a bee. Glue on the other side here. It just gets stringy. 
I'll just try and get some of the string off of it here. Some of that glue. Okay. I'm just gonna put it just like that. And if you get some glue where you don't want it, you can usually just ball it, like rub it until it turns into a ball, and then it should flake off. Just when it's wet, so you have to catch it while it's wet. So it's a cute little bee journal. So yeah, get a little charm on the front. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it and liked, liked it, please hit the like button. It helps me out so much. And make sure to comment down below. I would hear, love to hear what you guys think and how you guys made yours. And I will be posting this over on my Facebook, Snowstorm Crafts. It's my Facebook group and Underneath, if you could, in the comments where I post it, just post a picture of you guys, what you made or how, how you liked it. And I would love to see pictures of, of what you guys made to see how it turned out. And yeah, and make sure to come check out the playlist. You guys can see the episode one and this is episode two. And then I'm thinking there'll just be one more. We'll play it by ear, but yes, for sure. And thank you guys for following along and keep on crafting.